Let's just play through Contra real quick, because this game is also really fun. And, you know, I promised you guys something after Mario 3. I think Sonic 2 was one of the first games I ever played. This part right here I actually die on like all the time. Oh, jeez, I didn't see that guy back there. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Oh, oh that was close. Alright, other cat is gone. There we go. Mm, whoops. This is my favorite sound. All five of these bullets just crunching into this thing at once. Listen to this. Oh, I just love it. Just bring, bring, bring. Oh, it sounds so good. This was a game we had as a kid, or as kids, when Flex and I were one kid. Uh, yeah, we definitely had this game. Uh, I never beat it until, again, just recently when I started doing streaming and started streaming retro stuff. That's when I finally actually beat this game. And now it's just a regular, I come down, you know, I, I just play some Contra every once in a while. I really shouldn't have died right there. That actually super sucks because now I'm not going to have the uh, spread shot for the boss. But it's not the hardest boss in the world. play the crap out of Contra 3? Yeah, so I played a lot of Contra 3 uh, on emulator. Um, fuck the last boss of that game. Like, the part where you have to, like, shoot it, and whatever, like, thing that you shoot it in, it does a move based on that phase. That boss is stupid. And it has a ton of health. And, oh, man. Dumb. Dumb. Boss. Other than that, Contra 3 is amazing. Including the top down levels. Love it. Great game. But that last boss can get fucked. I did beat it recently, but it can get fucked. All right, we got a B and R. Get that B, get that R.
Okay, I think this is a spread shot here. Oh! Just try not to get contra It's okay to die, just don't get contra That's where the game spawns you in a spot where you immediately fall into another pit and die again. All right, just keep this spread. Is that guy snorkeling in a waterfall? Why, yes, he is. The old jump to scroll the camera up. Line up right here and you hit him with two bullets at once without hit, without getting hit. Good old spread shot. Base two. All right, let's not lose the spread this time. Oh boy. I tried a new thing there where I go to the left instead of just killing the ones in the center. Different grenade pattern to deal with. That was a- OH! So dumb! I had the logs coming at me and I thought that I was gonna get hit by the one on the right but I couldn't shoot it from where I was at, so I had to stand up, which made me stand up into a bullet. Yikes. Dying a lot. Fuck. Again, couldn't hit that log from where I was sitting. Why are, th are these things such a big problem all of a sudden? These logs are usually not a big deal. You just shoot them as they come down, but I guess I was hesitating. Oh yeah, here's the spot where the, the holes in the wall show five holes for logs to come out of, but then only four come out in spots that the holes are not. Well, we got one life back, so... That helps a little bit. There we go, there we go. Alright, here come these dudes. So. This is very similar to the other boss. Except there's dudes now. With wingsuits. Wingsuit dudes! Alright, here we go. Oh no, the Transformers come out, that's right! You have to destroy the gun first. I forgot about this. Alright, here we go. I, I, shit! I can do it, I can do it. There we go. Now, now it's business as usual. Now it's business as usual. So these guys, you can only hurt them when they're together. These, these, uh, 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 you know, you know what I'm gonna say. You know what I'm gonna call these guys. Optimus Prime, that's it. All right, boom. Why, well, thank you, Becky, it means a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this guy, I, really, I shouldn't even pretend that that part of the fight is hard. Once you get it down to one, it's pretty trivial. All right, level five, the snow field? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.
Alright, alright, alright. Machine gun. A good friend of the right thumb. The old machine gun. This is just an R, right? Yeah. But then there's a... Okay, so there's a spread coming up that's really hard to get. I don't even remember exactly which one it is, but there's going to be three things... Uh, and I don't remember which one it is. Here they come. It's the bottom one. Okay. Ah, but see, you gotta know it's the bottom one and hit the bottom one at the top of its arc so that it actually lands um, on something and not in, in the water. Oh, jeez. There we go. Got another dude, all right. And it's fine to not have spread as long as you have the machine gun for these things. In fact, you don't even need the machine gun. It's just a lot easier to hold the button down than it is to mash it. Okay. I always forget that there's a tiny little thing there between the two. I always think there's just two machines right in a row. That you gotta give it just the tightest little boop, just, just tap over to the right so that you turn around. It's like in Pokemon how you can turn without moving, except you do move, you just wanna move as few pixels as possible. Because as you can see, those bullets, they trim your toenails. That L is super good against this boss, but this boss is a joke pretty much no matter what. So, it's not really worth sacrificing the machine gun. What is my favorite snack food? Cashews, probably? I love cashews. Um, but beef jerky is also great. Beef jerky is just, though, y you get... Beef jerky is just gone right away is kind of the problem. Um, and I got to worry about what else I'm eating so it doesn't go poorly in my stomach and that kind of stuff. I like spicy nacho Doritos. Uh, I eat a lot of popcorn, too, honestly. Like, as far as what I most frequently eat as a snack food, probably popcorn. Uh, when I was younger, like every day basically, when I got home from school, I would make a bag of microwave popcorn and watch The X-Files on TV. Oh, he got in one last shot. Don't get contra -ed. He shot, like, just as he died. Now I've got a cat walking around my room. Meow Magic! Please don't claw on the soundproof panels. I don't like that. We weren't allowed to watch X-Files. Luckily, uh, X-Files was a show that my parents liked. Um, and, I mean... Yeah, my, my, my parents liked the X-Files, so it was, it was... Not too frowned upon. Um, I, you know, on TV I was allowed to watch most stuff. Uh, when I was like, a, when I was a kid, um, I wasn't allowed to watch everything. Like, uh, my dad told me I couldn't watch Power Rangers because it was too stupid. And, uh, and I carried that, you know? I didn't watch Power Rangers. I would go, oh, Dad said I can't watch this, it's too stupid. Um, but, uh, I, and the funny thing is, he was probably joking about that. 
Um, but uh, I actually was not allowed to watch Gargoyles, I remember. Do you guys remember Gargoyles? I guess Gargoyles was a little too evil uh, for us, for me to watch. Shit, that was a really bad death. Of all the deaths I've had so far, that one was the dumbest. Dragnet? Dragnet? Isn't that the, the detective show? Oh, oh I, I almost set down the controller there thinking that was a game over. Uh, Flex loves Dragnet. Well, okay, let me tell you something about my dad. My dad loves things like Sasquatch and aliens and all that kind of stuff. So X-Files was right up his alley. Uh, forbidden from playing Mortal Kombat? Absolutely, that was a thing, yes. Yeah, I definitely was not allowed to play Mortal Kombat. Um, I wasn't allowed to play any, uh, okay, that was very strange, that guy was just walking right through me. Oh, what is this? There was one kid, DJ, who was allowed to play it. We'd all go there and have 12 kids taking turns, and now he's an MMA fighter? Oh, wow. Does he fatality people? Did he learn, you know, does he take any of it with him? I'm joking, of course. Okay, I had to pick up the F there. It was a necessary evil. And I'm gonna complain about how much F sucks for a minute. Do you see how that guy almost got me because it takes so long for this fucking Fester's Quest shit to, to hit these guys? Alright, this is actually the hardest level, so I should be paying a little bit more attention and like kind of describing what's going on because this this level is really tough. Um, there's a spread shot coming up, uh, but again, it's a very difficult spread shot to get. You gotta get up here, and then it's not this, this is the machine gun. Now there's gonna be a spread shot coming from the bottom. Oh jeez, okay, I, I fucked it up. I fucked it up, I don't get it now because I hit it up there, but I, I fell down before I got it. All right, hang on. Are you gonna go or what? Okay, there it goes. Yep. Okay, now this thing, uh, char- Damn it! Oh, now I am up here? God damn it! Alright. That was just, that was such a botch job, you guys don't even know. Uh, but yeah, like, I, you know, my parents were pretty lax with TV, honestly. Uh, they they didn't like The Simpsons and would often complain about me watching The Simpsons, but I still watched it whenever I wanted. It, it, it was never really, like, strictly forbidden. Um, at least I, I don't remember it being. Oh, shit. They didn't understand that you spent a lot of time learning programming and not wasting your brain. Oh! Rotting your brain was the- oh yeah, that was- Video games rotted my brain. Uh, yeah, that was the thing I heard a lot. Um... But yeah, absolutely, games got me, like, super interested in programming. Uh, which... Oh, I just game overed! I got a game over! Oh, yep, I watched, uh, I, uh, not Power Rangers, I watched uh, Spongebob, definitely. Okay, this level is really hard, and I gotta pay attention. So, this is an F. An F can go fuck itself. Then we've got this guy. 
You gotta jump over his bullet so that he, he doesn't just shoot twice and get ya. Yeah, uh, that was totally a thing, Moraine, was that, right, my parents didn't really seem to mind me watching TV, um, or even restrict what I watched that much. Again, they, like, frowned upon The Simpsons, because every once in a while, Simpsons would have an anti-god joke. Um, but yeah, video games, they complained about all the time, uh, that I played too many games and stuff. And yeah, I, like, I'm not really sure what they were afraid of. Like, that I would be antisocial, maybe, or something? Uh-oh, hang on, hang on, I'm fucking it up again. This is, this is where the spread shot, god damn it, this is where the spread shot is. Oh, I did it, okay, here we go, now. Shit, I missed it again! At least I have the, at least I kept my machine gun this time. We had HBO, so we didn't have cable until uh, for a long time. Um, yeah, we we had. Uh, oh, I should bring up. We had. Did any of you guys have kids safe internet? We had kids safe internet. It was dial up. First of all, our first internet was dial up, uh, and it was through a company called uh, Mayberry. And I have since, since, now that I know a little bit more about stuff, I'm starting to think that they may not have been a company based anywhere near us, in that, like, if you're going to get dial-up, it really should not have been that company, because they could not provide service to us, really. Um, it would, in order for us to, like, we had dial-up, but, uh... It was not the dial-up that most people think of. It was way, way worse um, in that you would launch the application to, to dial up, you know, to dial in. And um, it ju the thing is, most people, you would hit the connect button and it would take a minute to connect. Um, and then it would just be shitty. Uh, and if anybody called, it would kick you off, you know, all that kind of stuff. For us, though, it wouldn't connect. It would, it would either connect or it wouldn't connect, except that it wouldn't connect 90% of the time, 99% of the time, and so it would sometimes take, like, hours to actually get the internet to connect. It would just dial up, and there'd be no response. And then it would dial up again, and there would be no response, and it would dial again, and there would be no response, and it would do this forever uh, until it would finally get a connection, and then you had your super shitty connection that took absolutely forever to get anything, like way slower than anyone else had uh, who was on dial-up. Uh, that might have been a spread shot. Uh, I don't remember. Um... And then, of course, just like everybody else, if anybody called, we would get kicked off. And we had, also, my brother and I, we also have an older sister, so there was a 90s teenaged girl in the house, so, like, using up the phone line was, was, uh, was pretty difficult when 90s teenaged girls' friends were calling all the time, so, yeah, um... We had dial-up, but oh my god, it, it was it was as bad as dial-up gets. However, it was it was something. Moraine is saying he had no internet at all. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, we had the internet, I guess. But oh, and then the original thing that I brought up about it was that it was kid safe. It was uh it was filtered internet, uh, built-in filtering. It wasn't um. Anything that, uh, anything that my parents could control or anything, it was just, it was just filtered internet. Uh, but, you know, 
a lot of a lot of stuff got past it. They didn't know about Newgrounds.com, you know. And there you have it. There's Contra. Your mom just didn't like you playing GTA when you were impressionable. Oh yeah. So, well, my parents went by the ESRB ratings, and so we weren't allowed to play anything uh, M-rated. Um, they didn't like teen-rated things, but it was fine. Uh, and so we got Grand Theft Auto 2 for the PlayStation. You know, the top down, one of the top down ones. Because if you guys don't know, um, make it look easy. I, ga I got a game over! I game over in level 7 or something in the hangar. Uh, but yeah, so. Um, what's the, what, what's the, what's the name? What's, what was the sentence that I was saying? GTA 2 was rated teen on the uh, PS1. The PS1 version of GTA 2 is rated teen, so we played Grand Theft Auto 2. Uh, but when I was a little older, and like my sister moved out and that kind of stuff, then, I, then it was a lot easier to get M-rated games if I really wanted them. So I had a little stash of, of my M-rated GameCube games. I had Resident Evil 4, Killer7, Eternal Darkness, and Geist. I had those four uh, M-rated games. Uh, and then I turned 17 and played all the Metal Gear Solids, and it was the best thing ever. Alright, so yeah, uh, that was Contra. It is now 2.15. Do we play another game? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, Mega, the, that's what I'm saying. Those were the games that I snuck. Uh, Resident Evil 4, Killer7, Geist, and Eternal Darkness were my, those were my sneak games. Those. That was my stash. Uh, 